Hi, this is Eric with Kalo Services and HVAC School. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to create your own and use your own 10 wrap wire diagnostic tool. Now, you may be wondering what is this tool and what is it for? It is simply a length of wire that we've wrapped around to make 10 individual strands at any point that I can put an amp clamp on this ring of wire. So anywhere I count it on here, except for obviously the bottom where they overlap, is gonna be 10 pieces of wire. I can put my clamp reader on anywhere around this circle the way I've oriented this one and get the proper reading. So what this is useful for is if we turn on this meter, if you look at the amp display, it only displays in 10th of an amp increments, but there's 0.0, .0 on this meter. It does not read to the hundredths place. So if you need to get a more accurate reading with this meter or a meter similar, or even a meter that does count further, you can make this 10 wrap, and then you simply move the decimal place to the left to get your actual reading. Now what this also serves to do is to move your measuring point away from other wires. See, I can move this out of the unit away from other wires that might be interfering with my reading. So I'm gonna demonstrate using it on an air handler low voltage circuit and also on a condenser fan motor because that's what I have available to me to demonstrate now. Some other uses of this could be to test small defrost heaters for refrigeration, anything where you need to critically measure low amperage. So I'm gonna get this unit opened up and we'll hook this up, show how to take a measurement with it. We have our 10 wrap plugged onto the transformer in the place of where this red wire would normally plug in. And we have the red wire plugged back into our 10 wrap. So the most common connection I keep on this 10 wrap is a female spade connector and a male spade connector because that's the most common things I would use it for. And you can see on the meter here, we're drawing, it says 0.43 amps, even though the unit is idle. Now we would move that decimal point one place to the left and that would equal 0.43 amps right now. So if I went over here to we're actually drawing, and if you look at what the meter would normally say, it's saying from 0.3 to 0.4, but on our 10 wrap, we get a, a true reading of closer to what it actually is. So you could use that in your low voltage control circuit for diagnostics, pretty much anywhere, as I mentioned, that you'd need the resolution that your meter doesn't regularly provide. All right, so let's take a close look at what this thing is. I know the first shot probably wasn't the best example. This is just one strand of wire, one piece of wire, I should say. In this case, I use number 14 wire, and it's simply 10 loops anywhere I'm gonna put the meter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if I count over here, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The only discrepancy right here is where I purposefully put this cable tie so that I remember not to put my meter past there and I have the wires tied together. See here, they overlap one more time. Right there at that point under that cable tie would be 11. Keep that in mind when you're making one to just count the strands and make sure they're good where you're gonna measure. So in this case, I can measure anywhere around the circle except for where I've purposefully blocked myself from being able to measure. And I make it long, I leave the ends, this configuration, the male and female spade, because that's the most common. But if you leave it long, you can snip it a couple times if you have to, in order to get the ends you need. But pretty much that's the only ends I'm using. You could also make adapters that plug into this if you don't want to keep cutting it. But that's pretty much that. All right, so now we have our wire wrap hooked up to a condenser fan motor. Now this is a uh, EC motor, maybe not the best example, but you see we get 1.1 amps there. And in the unit, we might even get a little different because we're near other stuff. We're getting, depending on where we move it, actually this one's staying pretty stable. When we go to our 10 wrap here, you see we get a reading of more like 1.18, 1 1.19, because we're moving that decimal point one place to the left. You gain a bit of resolution by doing this. It's not always necessary for what you're doing, maybe not even for what I'm demonstrating it on, but I have to demonstrate it on something. Tool to have in the toolbox, when and if you need it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out.
HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.